The circuit diagram of a full subtractor using basic gates is as shown. This circuit can be done with two half subtractor circuits too. The difference output of the left subtractor is given to the left half subtractor circuits. The difference output is further provided to the input to the right half subtractor circuit. We offered the borrow in bit across the other input of the next half subtractor circuit. Once more it will give difference out as well as borrow out the bit. The final output of this subtractor is difference output. On the other hand the borrow out of the both the half subtractor circuits is connected to OR logic gate. Rather than giving out OR logic for two output bits of the subtractor, we acquire the final borrow out of the subtractor. The last borrow out to signify the MSP which is nothing but the most significant bit. If we observe the internal circuit of the full subtractor, we can see two half subtractors with NAND gate and the XOR gate with an extra OR gate. Coming to magnitude comparator, a magnitude is nothing but a digital comparator is a combinational circuit that compares two digital or binary numbers in order to find out whether the binary number is equal to less than or greater than the other binary number. We logically design a circuit for which we will have two inputs, one for A, the other for B and have three output terminals, one for A greater than B condition, one for A equal to B the other for A less than B condition. Let us look at one bit comparator. A comparator used to compare two bits is called a single bit comparator. It consists of two inputs each for the two single bit numbers and three outputs to generate less than, equal to and greater than between the two binary numbers. A simple one bit magnitude comparator is as shown. The gate 1 produces the function A greater than B and gate 3 gives A less than B. This basic circuit for a magnitude comparator may be extended for any number of bits but the more bits the circuit has to compare the more complex the circuit becomes. Let us look at a 2 bit magnitude comparator. A comparator which is used to compare two binary numbers each of 2 bits is called a 2 bit magnitude comparator. It consists of 4 inputs and 3 outputs to generate less than, equal to and greater than than between the two binary numbers. A 2 bit binary compares two binary numbers each of the two bits and produces their relation such as one number is equal to or greater than or less than. The figure shows the block diagram of a 2 bit comparator which has four inputs and three outputs. The first number is designated as A which is equal to A1 into A0. The second number is designated as B which is equal to B1 into B0. This comparator produces three outputs as G which is nothing but G equal to 1 if A is greater than B, E, E equal to 1 if A equal to B and L, L equal to 1 if A is less than B. The true table of this comparator depicts the various input and output states for a 2 bit comparator. Let us see the applications of comparators. These are used in address decoding circuitry in computers and microprocessors, based devices to select a specific input or output device for the storage of data. These are used in control applications in which the binary numbers representing the physical variables such as the temperature, position etc are compared with a reference value. Then the outputs from the comparator are used to drive the actuators so as to make the physical variables closest to the set or the reference values. It is also used for process controllers. And it is also used in your server motor controls. Multiplexers. What is multiplexers? Multiplexing is the generic term which is used to describe the operation of sending more than one analog or digital signals over a common transmission line. It might be at different times or different speeds and as such the device we use to do just that is called a multiplexer. The multiplexer which is shortened to MUX is a combination logic circuit which is designed to switch one of the several input lines through to a single common output line by the application of a control signal. Multiplexers operate like very fast acting multiple position rotary switches connecting or controlling multiple input lines so which are called as the channels one at a time to the output. Multiplexers or MUX are digital circuits made from high speed logic gates 
which is used to switch digital or binary data. The best way to understand multiplexes is by looking at the single pole multi-positioned as shown. Here the switch has multiple inputs D0, D1, D2 and D3. But it has only one output which is nothing but the output pin. The control knob is used to select one of the four available data and this data will be reflected in the output side. This way the user can select the required signal among the many available signals. This is a plain example of a mechanical multiplexer. But in electronic circuit which involves high speed switching and data transfers, we should be able to select the required input very fast using the digital circuits. The control signals S1 and S0 does exactly the same. They select one input of the many available ones based on the signal provided to them. So the three basic and the bare minimum terms on any multiplexer will be the input pins, output pins and the control signal. Let's talk about input pins. These are the available signal pins from which one has to be selected. These signals can either be a digital signal or an analog signal. Output pins. A multiplexer will always have only one output pin. The selected input pin signal will be provided by the output pin. Control or selection pin. The control pins are used to select the input signal. The number of control pins on a multiplexer depends on the number of inputs. For an example, a four input multiplexer will have two select lines or the two signal pins. The most basic type of multiplexer device is that of a one-way rotary switch. It is a combinational circuit which has many data inputs and single output depending on the control or the select inputs. For n input lines, log n to base 2 selection lines or we can say that for 2 power n input lines, n selection lines are required. Multiplexers are also known as data selectors parallel to serial converters, many to one circuit, universal logic circuit. Multiplexers are mainly used to increase the amount of the data that, are, that can be sent over the network between the certain amount of time and bandwidth. The select lines determine which input is connected to the output and also to increase the amount of data that can be sent over a network within a certain time. So it is also called a data selector. Let's look at a 2 is to 1 multiplexer. As the name suggests, for a 2 input multiplexer, we will have 2 input lines and 1 output lines. Also, it will have only 1 control pin to select the available 2 input pins. A graphical representation of a 2 is to 1 MUX can be seen. Here, the input pins are named as A and B and the output is named as Y. The user can select one of the inputs that is either A or B by using the control pin X. If X is kept low, then the input A will be reflected on the output pin. And if the X is kept high, that is logic 1, then the input B will be reflected on the output pin. The true table explains the functionality of a 2 is to 1 MUX. As we can see from the true table, when select, that is X equal to 0, the second input A is reflected at the output. When select X equal to 1, the first input B is reflected at the output. Let us now try to understand the logic circuit of a 2 is to 1 MUX. The logic circuit of a 2 is to 1 MUX can be implemented using logic gates as shown. It consists of two AND gates, one NOT gate and one OR gate. When the select line that is x equal to 0, the output of the upper AND gate A but the lower AND gate is 0. Thus, the output generated by the OR gate is equal to A. Similarly, when x equal to 1, the output of the lower AND gate is B, but the output of the upper AND gate is 0. Therefore, the output of the R gate is B only. Let's look at 4 is to 1 multiplexer. Once you have understood the working of a 2 is to 1 MUX, it should be easy to also to understand the 4 is to 1 MUX. It is just that it will have 4 input pins, 1 output pins with 2 control lines. These 2 control lines can form four different combination logic signals and for each signal one particular input will be selected. The number of control lines for any multiplexer can be found using the below formula. For instance, a 2 is to 1 multiplexer will have one control line because it has got two inputs and one outputs 
and a 4 is to 1 multiplexer will have two control lines because it has got four inputs and one output. Similarly, you can calculate for any higher order multiplexers. In 4 is to 1 MUX, there will be four input lines and one output line. And to control which input should be selected out of these four, we need two selection lines. The figure shows the symbol for the 4 is to 1 MUX where D0 to D3 are the four select lines well A and B are the select lines and the Z is the output. The two table for 4 is to 1 MUX is displayed. D0 is selected when the select line AB is 0, 0. D1 is selected when the select line AB is 0, 1. D2 is selected when the select line AB is 1, 0. And D3 is selected when the select line AB is 1, 1. It is evident from the diagram that D0, D1, D2, D3 are the input lines. A and B are the selection lines. The combination of the binary numbers given as a selection line will determine the output of the MUX. Let us look at each of the cases. Case 1, when the selection line A represents 0 and the selection line B also represents 0, then the input line which will be selected to pass from the multiplexer will be obviously D0. Thus, MUX will be a short circuit for input line D0 and will be open circuited for the other input lines. The second case, when the selection line A represents 0, while the selection line B represents 1, then the input line which will be selected will be D1. In this case, MUX will behave as a short circuit for the input line D1, while it will behave as an open circuit for the other input lines. The next case, case 3, when the selection line A is 1 and B is 0, the input line D2 will be generated at the output. In this scenario, the MUX will allow only D2 to pass through it and the other input will be blocked. The last case, when both the selection line represents 1, then the last input line will be selected that is D3. In this case, the MUX will allow only D3 to pass through it and the other input lines will get blocked from passing through the MUX.